Hello and welcome. I'm Sandy and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I'm so glad you've joined me this evening because I have a sneak peek for you from the new mini catalog. Uh, mini catalog does not go live until January the 4th. However, i just move that where you can see it. <laughs> and lots of glare. But, um, well, if you join now, for example, you can order products now. Um, other than that, January the 4th, out comes the mini. This is as much as I can show you of the mini, so you get a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. But yeah, I can't show you the inside until January the 4th. So that's the way it is. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, oh, we have a couple of here. Hello, LC and Gail. Hello. Thank you for joining me this evening. We are, I know there's lots of glare, but I need lots of light so I can see. I think, I feel, oh, you know what? I think my camera is closer than usual. That's why I'm thinking, why is this so close? Anyway, so we're going to use, this is a new bundle, which is actually part of a suite, part of a mega suite, which means there's um, stamp set and dies and another stamp set and dies and then paper and all the goodies and so on. I purchased this portion of it because, if you haven't heard already, I have um, joined up with two other demonstrators in Canada and we are doing a winter escape stamp camp using this set. So it's really, really cute. One thing I absolutely love, well, it's two-step stamping. Simple, I'm gonna show you that tonight. Um, and we've got different sizes of leaves, you've got the stem, lots of different fonts, and then I love this, thank you. It says, you are so thoughtful, thank you. And it says, you are so thoughtful again, love that. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. Gorgeous. Love you so much. Let today be the start of something new. And just thinking of you today, they're really, really useful, as you can see. Uh, it's photopolymer. Whenever the, the stamp sets are two-step, you can see through them, as in clear photopolymer. And then these are the dies. So they're going to coordinate with the, the um, stamps. And then some of them, I, I don't have... I haven't had it long enough to figure everything out, but some of them actually, you cut them and then you fold them in and you get this really cool looking um, 3D flower. So you've got your leaves, your stems, a little extra piece, which I haven't tried out yet. This long piece, what else? Um, I believe this is the grass here. Oh, this looks like these kind of. Anyway, really, really cute. So my stamp camp, or our stamp camp, is on uh, Feb 19th. 2022 hard to believe and I'm going to post the link to it so you can read all the details because I would take too long reading through everything so this is what we're using tonight very excited and I did because we'll be using this in the stamp cap I, I bought the the DSP as well and I think it's called flowering fields it is okay so I'm going to tilt it a little bit hopefully that helps with I know there's not a lot of glare um, so if you look at this, it's, it's probably going to remind you of, I'm thinking Holland, perhaps. I've not been, but I know there's lots of, um, they do have lots and lots of tulips there. So it's really cute. You might be thinking, how will I use this? You can use it as a card front or pretend this is a die. You can pick a piece that you want and then build on that by using a, um, a layering circle of sorts. Lots of things you can do with it. So I'm looking forward to playing with this, in other words. Now, this is absolutely stunning. And I believe this is Rich Razzleberry in here with Highland Heather. Really, really pretty. I'll show you the other side. They're very um, interesting. Interesting looking. And there's the tulips again, but in, obviously in a different direction. So you use strips of them or whatever strikes your fancy, really. And Elsie's saying that, oh, you did purchase tulips. Oh. Oh, well, that's why I haven't hit chat, but you'll have fun. Um, I haven't seen any videos yet, so on YouTube, I was trying to see how you, everything stamped, and you know, I was being lazy. Okay, let's be real. Anyway, there's that paper, and I haven't found any yet, so, huh, you know? <laughs> this one's really pretty. Uh, Mango Melody, and hmm, I can't remember the colors. Let's just look at the colors, shall we? I probably have to get this nice and close. Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Fresh 
Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, Mango Melody, Pear Pizzazz. Oh, I can't read that. Paddle Pink, I can read it. Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, that's probably Pumpkin Pie. Pumpkin Pie, Rich Razzleberry, Soft Succulent, and So Saffron. In other words, it goes with a lot of things. <laughs> a lot. This is one of my favorites. Like, ah. Oh. And I know we've really hardly had winter here in Ontario, but I gotta tell you, I'm still thinking, I'm thinking spring already. This I love. My mother loved polka dots, and, um, and thus I love polka dots in her memory. All right, let's see the other side. So these are really cool. I think they're gonna make really awesome backgrounds. Love these colors together. I do not know. Well, it goes this direction, I'd say, because of the way this is. Really, really cool. This looks like watercolor to me, and that means it's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And then, oh well, I love the I love the purples anyway. Yeah, but I think I do have them all going in the right direction. Extra cool. So I'm gonna have fun figuring out what to do with these. I love this because it actually looks, from my perspective where I'm looking at it here, it lo almost looks 3D. It almost looks like this is a, a grid on top and then what's down below, I pretend it's like the earth or I don't know what. This is pretty, really, really pretty. And then we have some clouds. Again, make a really beautiful card front. And then more clouds in other colors. So we have obviously coordinating, which is what I love about Stampin' Up. They take the guesswork out. You know, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about it. Ooh, before I forget. Okay. Is you tomorrow, December the 15th, 2021, you will, when you place an order of $60 or more with me, I'm, I'm bringing back my birthday special that got squashed because Stampin' Up! had a, had a lovely special of um, free shipping. <laughs> I can't match that, but I can give you $7 off. I always go with 7 because I was born on the 7th. Thankfully, I wasn't born on the 30th. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so that's tomorrow. And what you would need to do is send me... Um, send me a message to either Facebook or... I'll, I'll give you the email address later and just say this is what I want to order and then I can get you seven dollars off that it's not combined with any other offers because I also have spent sixty dollars and you get um, the do, 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 do basic rhinestones so I can't do both but I can do one of them but seven dollars off is better so go for that all right so I'll give you my card base my both both my card bases are identical, and there's a reason for that. Is I'm going to show you. First, I have to. One second. What did I do with my bone folder? Okay, well we'll just pretend that's nice and flat. Because apparently I don't see it. But you know what? There's other things you can use. So I'll use this. It wasn't as straight as I'd like it to be. Okay, so this is basic white, not the thick. It's the regular. And it's four and a quarter by eleven. It's scored at five and a half. Okay, this is the sa exact same size as the card front. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's going to fit right on top, but it's going to get popped up. I can't do that now. I was thinking, oh, I'll put all the dimensionals on the back, but I can't. And you'll see why. Oh, I also wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see this. If you can see the um, the texture on it, this is the back of it. I like I like this side with the bumps up. This, I don't know how I missed this. This is in the current mini, and it's called Time Worn Type 3D Embossing Folder. So I was going for the subtle look again. It's one of the, it is 3D, which means you'll need your blue plate with it. And what I did with this is I didn't want it way up here. So this is the line that you would follow here. Okay, and you can see some of that pattern. It's really cool. I think there's words here, but I can't read them. So what I did is I lined it up. You see how it's just over the top a little bit? And I just took it and went down just a little bit so I could get the entire the, the entire coverage here. Okay, let's show you the next piece. Now, I did show you one of the dies, all the dies, but one of the dies, which is this one, right here. I'm going to show you how I did this. I thought I'm going to you know, poke out all the holes and so on. Now I wanted to show you what this looked like. All right, so this is Poppy Parade. 
And the the height of this doesn't really matter. It just has to be, I like to leave a little bit down here and you just don't want to cut off the top of the flowers. I would guess that's like maybe two and a half inches. You can probably save some. Okay, so I had laid it down and run it through my embossing machine, which left me with this. And then this piece comes off. And yes, you're going to see a whole bunch of little little pieces. I thought this might be a good opportunity so you could see what it looks like rather than me just showing the finished. They really pop through easily. And I only put it through the embossing or the, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the boss. I only put it through once. I didn't go back and forth like I sometimes do. I didn't have to, which is nice. So there's a bunch of little pieces. And you might be wondering, why is why are you not using your um, uh, um, uh, adhesive sheets? Well, because I found that I, I can do this without them. If you want to use the adhesive sheets, by all means, it'll probably take off all those little pieces with it, which would be kind of cool. So I already measured this at four and a quarter. I think I said that. And then I have this piece. So this is the, you know, polka dots. I always have to honor my mother in one way or another. Every once in a while, and I know Mother's Day. Actually, there's a Mother's Day. Oh, I just noticed that. Check this out. Happy Mother's Day. Which is good for people that send Mother's Day cards to have that. All right. So this is part of the um, Flowering Fields DSP. There's the other side. It's also quite pretty. I would go that direction, I think. And then I would put that there. But I want this side because they match beautifully. So this is... Well, four and a quarter goes side to side, and it's one and a half inches um, tall. Tall. What's the word tall? And uh, I'm just going to glue that on. So I'll show you what I did. This first. First this piece. Oh, glue boogie. Scoozy. I didn't, I didn't have this facing down like I should have before the video. Come on. It's actually a very easy to card to do. Oh yeah, I was telling you why. Oh, for crying out loud. It even feels like a new one. Squeeze, use the other end. Oh, wait, there we go. Once it starts coming out, it's, yeah, I press, I squeeze too much. So the two card bases are the same because really what I wanted to do is show you um, the product and show you how you can take the same, I always do it this way when it's the same width side to side. And make sure it's not sticking over. It isn't. How you can take the same look of a card and make it something completely different. So you won't see these in the next card. Now this is going to go right on top. And I like the way it looks like a little, kind of like a little hill. And the more you leave at the bottom of your paper, the more, you, the, like the higher you put your die on the paper, the more of this you'll have. Which makes sense, I think, to me. It always makes sense to my head. So had I, <laughs> let's do this. I could have taken the die and put it, say, up here. Then I would have had a wider looking piece of grass. <laughs> it's hard to figure out. Alrighty. Oh, I also wanted to say that I have mailed out my catalogs, my the mini catalog and the celebration. Um, I don't know. I, they were, it was last week, so I don't know how long it will take Canada Post to send it. It, does, it is letter mail. And so if you've shopped with me in the last year, uh, you should have a catalog coming your way. And hopefully it'll arrive before January the 4th when Celebration and the uh, new mini begin. Okay, so we're just going to go side to side. And I'm just going to push that down a bit, over a bit. There we go. Now, I'm one of those people that I don't like seeing lines. So came up with a little solution. I don't, I don't want to see the, like the... What do you call it the two the two ends together just before the video i was saying i, I don't think i can speak tonight <laughs> words are not coming out of my mouth we'll see won't we oh well i also have some news for you my son is visiting unfortunately the first day he was here um the big dog bit him <laughs> kind of nasty bite i kind of bit him a little bit again tonight so we have to make sure that they're not in the same room together. The dog's just protecting the house. It's what he does, you know? So, um, I think I went two times around. Oh, you know what I did? Hmm. Yeah, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I need a longer tail on this side. 
So we'll just, that's the beauty of glue dots, right? Just pull it off. So how did I do that? Like so. Silly Sandy. There we go. I need a bigger tail because I have to, I need that. I need it. Alrighty, so if you're just joining us, you're going to want to start at the beginning so you can see a sneak peek later after it's actually on, <laughs> on back on Facebook, and it'll be on YouTube, and it will actually be on my blog tomorrow. I can't put my make my blog live tonight because it's part of a blog hop. Wee-haw. All right, so that's enough to cover. So what I'm going to do is see if, yes, it's stuck. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted that to be stuck. Oh, you're not stuck. You can't be stuck. I hear what you're saying. Okay. You can't be stuck. I want the other piece to be stuck. Wow, when you make a card like three days before, memory escapes me. Oh, let me just take a look at the comments. We're good. Oh, and there's Julie. Oh, Christina. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm just going to make a knot. Nothing fancy. I'm not making a bow. Don't need it. I don't want anything to take away. I'm just trying to make sure I'm in the center here. I keep putting it over here for some reason. Don't mind myself. And if you know what? If if it's if I'm way too high, just leave me a comment and say, uh, lower Sandy. Because <laughs> it happens. Stuff moves. So this is the reason why I'm popping it up. I don't like a bump on my cards. So I thought I'd make this easy. A brand new sheet of, these are mini. It doesn't really matter. And we'll do it the quick way, hopefully which is to just cut off the edges. I, I do want that backing. I always find it easier if I just cut the edges and go with it that way. So from there to there. Oh, you know, I could just do this the handy way. And there, and there. Now, they're not all I'm going to fit necessarily, but I am going to, um, and put a couple in the center too. So we don't like saggy centers, we do not. And you'll notice when I do this little tip, um, for this kind, I, I put the flat edge around the outside in case anyone was happened to see it. I want that on the outside. I think that makes sense. Down. <laughs> down, Sandy, down. And comments are always so delayed. And Facebook's been a little cranky lately. Just a little cranky. I think little few difficulties with it but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay tonight Alrighty, and then I have the larger ones just to put a couple or just well, I've got that one so this one that should suffice I don't really it doesn't matter that you have the whole thing covered it's not um it's not a shaker card or anything all right so just pull these off I like to leave my backing on <laughs> until I'm done just in case I change my mind and I can have them like so. So again, very easy card. If you don't want to pop it up, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. Now remember, this is the same size as this. So when I do cards like this, that are like edge to edge, which this is just like the other piece, I did forget to take one off. I just noticed, okay, as I just line it up as best I can and just press there. Ah, that is so crooked. Dang it. <laughs> Another reason not to use a bazillion. Oh, this won't, it, I can't settle for that crooked. A little crooked? Sure. That crooked? Not a chance. Of course, I used a big piece. Oh, for crying out, Petey Bill. Does, does that ever happen to anybody else? <laughs> oh, it's time to mangle up the base. Well, lucky my cutter's here if I have to recut. I was trying to take this off. Oh, how can I do that? Oh, I know. Oh, the end. Oh, there it is. Little tool on the other end of your the sharpie end of this. Oh, if you can't, if you don't mess up once per video, and I actually think I get to say that once per video. Mm -hmm. I think I do. Oh, I'm ripping it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna rip this, and I think I have another base not that far away. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is gonna be real pretty. There you go. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ay, caramba. And sometimes we just have a card that looks half done. <laughs> I've done this more than, oh gosh, more than a handful of times where I've had to rip the whole nine yards off. And I don't even know if this is going to be sticky, but I can fix that later. Well, you know what I'm going to do? 
Okay, here's the front of our card. I don't want to delay because I have two cards and I don't want to be talking for like, you know, two hours. There's the front of our card and, hmm, and, and, and I already somewhere have the sentiment. I already have the sentiment as well done, which is hiding. So this is what we'll do. This is so embarrassing. Here we go. There's the card. But what, you know what I forgot? Oh, you know what, and I, hmm, I forgot to show you this. So what I did was, I, this is one of the sentiments. I heat embossed it, obviously on basic black with white. And I put these on before I remembered that this is part of the same set. It's part of the bundle, part of the, not the bundle. Now some of the, these guys were trying to fly away. So I'm just going to very carefully take off the rhinestones. So when you see the pictures on my blog, it will have the rhinestones. And these are supposed to be, hang on, adhesive backed. That's probably why they're sticking where they're sticking. Oh, I could probably show them to you. Looks like we have one, two sizes, three sizes. My eyes can't tell. I can't tell. My eyes are very tired today. My grandson decided he didn't want to take a nap, so I didn't get my little snooze time in. I just read a really good tip. Julie says, I put Tombow glue on top of my foam for wiggle room. That is awesome. I will start doing that. Thank you. I've never, no one's ever told me that. Did you know that? Nobody. Oh, and there's another tip. Okay, we have to read these. This is from Eunice. Uh, use your heat tool on low from behind and the adhesive, adhesive loosens for you, up for you. I no one ever told me that either. I've been I've been making cards for a long time. Yeah, I lost my adhesive back. Probably because I should be using this end. Er, er, come on, come to Sandy. I I mean, we have to have three. We have to have three. <laughs> it's a rule. Because it's it looks better to the eyes. Flip her over. They're really not as painful to use as I'm making it look. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. Now, one thing I want to mention is that when the um, mini catalog goes live, these little guys are going to be very, very popular. So if you like them, I would say get them on your first order of the new year, January 4th. I'm going to, I would trim these a little bit, but for the photo, I did not. I had them kind of, you know, being cute. All right, card number two. And this is where I'm going to just bring... This is what I was considering my other card base if I really, really, really needed it. Size doesn't, size of this doesn't matter. All right, so what we're going to do is do the two-step stamping. And what I did for this, as I couldn't remember, is I put a little dot saying this is, this is, oh, this goes with this. Never mind. Now, and I had it bass backward. <laughs> Don't say bad words, Sandy. So what you want to do here. That was the, look, I found it. <laughs> I bet I can't find the second one either. I, I so annoy myself. What you want to do when you're doing this is this. I'll show you what it looks like. This is like the, we'll call this the outline piece. You want to do this first if your second color is dark because your, the second color is darker. Because I tried it the other way, and with the dark, I couldn't see where to put the light. So I, I definitely need to re-ink that. And hold it down a little bit longer. And, oh, we have another same another tip. Grace says a glue stick can do the same thing. You know what? Weird thing is, I do not own a glue stick. Okay, so there's the fresh freesia. I should probably tell you the color. And this is gorgeous grape, which I did just re-ink. Now to line it up, everybody get away. What I did is I look at these bumps here and line it up, whoop, sorry, with the bumps. It's a little bit hard to do when it's not right in front of you or right over you. And that turned out terrible. <laughs> but but you know I've got these already done somewhere. Um, okay, and leaves show you. So this would this would get die cut. 
you know, that bugs me. I need to try it again. I really do need to try that again. That is really annoying me that that didn't work. Um, and the one thing also might be also that I had just cleaned the stamps is, and that guy needs more ink really bad, is if, if they're really, you can hear that sticky noise. If they're really, really clean stamps, you're going to want to stamp on a scrap piece of paper and get that, that factory stickiness off. If I can get that better. That's a bit better. Because my, my sample ones turned out great, as, as usual. They turned out better. I just have to close those. And then what I like to do is I would do all of my, I would do all of my stamping and I would do all of my, then all of my cutting, especially if you're doing multiples. This is a little centerpiece, um, stamens. I'm not sure. Anyway, I decided on black as I didn't want yellow. It's really easy. We'll just pretend it's really easy to line up and it doesn't matter if it's not in the exact, exact spot. It really doesn't. Trust me, I did about 20 of these just to test out different ways of doing it. Now, there's two different sizes of leaves. I would be using just one, so I would be going like this and like this, because I would want two different shades. That's just me, because otherwise it's just kind of boring. And because stamping off is such a great technique that... Uh, you get more out of your ink colors, basically, because those do not look at all the same. I really like that part about about the um, the um, oh stamping off. There we got it. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So same as before, same card base, same this, and in the oh, you know why I couldn't find my. I couldn't find this because my tabletop got moved when my chair went under and went poof, popped it up. So same base, four and a quarter by eleven. Scored it five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. Also done with the same flowering fields. And then this one's going getting glued straight on, so it's extra simple. Now I say that, but this gives me wiggle room, which is what we were. What that tip there that just is so perfect and I will be using okay so like so it should have worked that way with with the other it did on my on my sample okay a little bit of wiggle room and we are good okay what I did this time is I did these guys in white it's true and I, I just have to think I've done this I've done all the heat embossing too so did I tell you these were the layering I don't think I did. Uh, or the stitched rectangles. Same with on the first card, which I will bring back in. Now this time, I'm not worried about this line because this is going to cover up part of it. And then flowers are going to cover up the other part. So here's the here's the flowers die cut. And yes, I got black ink on my fingers. Hopefully not on my card. Here's my little leaves. And you'll find out, or yeah, leaves. There we go. So there they are. See how pretty that was there? I don't know why I could not stamp it tonight. I wonder if I stamped them backwards. Hmm. I may have. You know what? I think I was to do the fresh freesia on the out on the inside, not the outside. That's what I did. I may bring that back in if I don't talk for too long. Okay, so these are done and die cut. Now I messed up this die cut just a little bit, so I'm gonna hide him under here. Let's get gluing. So this is like I said, oops, a little bit more. I missed the end. Don't need a ton of glue, but you definitely need to put glue on it. It's not centered. If you want to know the height, I would say that's about an inch and a half, three quarters from the top or from the bottom. Like, and then this guy is going to go underneath here. This is going to get glued straight down. This is going to get popped up. So let's go on a little angle like that. I'm not concerned. I don't I don't think we have to actually see those. So I'm gonna cover that up. And dimensionals. Let's get let's get popping. One of these guys is gonna be down. And then we have the leaves. So I ripped one of the leaves in half because I didn't I don't need that much. So this will probably go down here. This one gets popped up. This one here. 
Um, let's see. Mm, let's see. Maybe that could go there. And I think I'm going to put a second one at the bottom. And if you wonder, I don't know. I figured this was the end of the leaf that you'd, that you'd want to see. Like so. I don't know why I switched those. So we'll go kind of like that. Or switch them around. I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll find out. Alrighty. So you only need a few. I always find with, with cardstock, I don't I don't find that I, I need quite as much. Go there and there. You can just take this off right away. If you want to use more of those um, dimensionals, that's up to you. I'm just gonna go a little sparse. Okay, this guy I'm going to glue down. I should be able to, if I just put the glue in the center here, it will hold it. And then all I have to do is tuck the leaves underneath. So maybe we'll go a little bit right about there. And then we'll begin popping this one up. So not before I put the leaves on though. Ha! I can be taught. Alrighty. So put that there. So I just put a glue dot at the end and I'm going to go right about, I think I want this on here just a little bit, a little bit of overlap so they're touching. So maybe I'll go down a little bit further. The good thing about glue dots is I can do this and angle it if I, if I feel the need. I am going to put a glue dot or dimensional, just one on there just to hold that place. And then this one kind of looks like legs to me. That's what I'm trying to avoid, you know, just a little bit. I don't know why they just look like legs to me. The brain tries to figure, okay, where'd I, I did it again. You know, when you shoot the, the um, glue dot somewhere, I've done it again. I'm going to find it stuck to something and something's going to get stuck to me, but hey, that's okay. Other end. Alrighty, so we're kind of building. I don't want to go over the bottom of the card, though. Obviously, that won't that won't go through the mail, oddly enough. You know. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. For this. Okay. This end is going to be over here. Oh, maybe I don't need it. I'll get one really close, like so. And then a little leaf is going to get tucked under there. So I do need another glue dot. Oh, found it. There we go. So just on the end, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Nope, not with that. And we'll just tuck that underneath. My big thing when I'm making cards is I don't want everything on the same angle. So like this, I don't want it. I don't want the, this leaf over that way. It's just, I don't know why. It's just, I guess, a visual thing. So love you so much. I do love that. Now, I, for this one, I actually prefer with the um, Fresh Freesia and the um, oh, yeah. gorgeous grape. I, I prefer the rhinestones. So that's what I'm going to use. I don't know why. I just don't know that I don't, I didn't feel that the butterflies matched the way I wanted them to. I forget if I said that's pear pizzazz. It is. All right. So, and go up there. And, oh, maybe I'll use a different size. Lots of sizes. So, go down here. Nope, go up here. Right in there. So they're not actually at the same height. They're pretty close, but it's still kind of a wonky looking triangle. Wow. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, so here is, they here are, I should say, the two cards. Hoping they're in the center-ish. We'll trim that just a teeny bit, perhaps. Again, really, really, really pretty. And just like I said, two cards. They don't, they don't really look alike, even though I've done them alike, basically. Just different elements, that's all. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have to, I have to, what's the word? 
I have to kind of stumble my way through some videos. I don't know why. But anyway, there's the one. I love, I just love the way that, that is, that little um, hill, we'll call it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so the blog hops tomorrow. So I will put that here in, in Lolly and Sand on my page. Um, again, my $7 off. Shipping is only tomorrow, December 15th. And you have to be in Canada. Sorry, I can only sell to Canadians. Uh, the, I'm going to add the links to the stamp camp and other goodies after the video. And I want to thank you once again for spending time with me. And, and the fact that you don't make fun of me for fumbling through my videos is lovely. I mean, you can do it privately. Feel free. I, I make fun of myself so you can just, you know, that's the way it is. And anyway, I'm going to see you next Tuesday again at 8 p.m. with another sneak peek. I might, I don't know if I'm going to use this again, but try those folded flowers. I, I just might because I, we need to see what they're going to look like. And when you're signing up for something, I think you'd probably like to see the products. So that's what I'm probably going to do. I can't guarantee it though. Oh, okay. That's it. Have a wonderful rest of your week and uh, see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.